In a dramatic policy shift, President Biden has issued an executive order that temporarily prevents migrants from seeking asylum at the U.S.-Mexico border when illegal crossings surge. This election year move is aimed at easing the pressure on the immigration system and addressing a major concern among American voters. The new measure, one of the most restrictive border policies instituted by a modern Democratic president, echoes a 2018 effort by former President Donald Trump, which was blocked by federal court. President Biden explained that he was compelled to take executive action due to Republican obstruction of bipartisan legislation that would have introduced significant border security measures. He emphasized that his administration continues to work closely with Mexican authorities, contrasting his approach with Trump's more adversarial stance. Biden also distanced himself from Trump's dehumanizing rhetoric, asserting that he would never refer to immigrants in derogatory terms. This shift reflects a broader rightward movement in U.S. immigration politics, with polls indicating support in both parties for stricter border measures once championed by Trump and denounced by Democrats. The new restrictions will activate when the seven-day average of illegal entries reaches 2,500 per day, a threshold that has already been surpassed. This means the order could take effect immediately, allowing border officers to quickly return migrants to Mexico or their home countries. Traditionally, migrants who cross the border illegally and claim asylum are released into the United States to await court appearances, often years later due to a substantial backlog. The new system aims to deter such illegal crossings by suspending this process. The border would reopen to asylum seekers only when the daily average of crossings falls below 1,500 for seven consecutive days, with a two-week reopening period following this condition. The American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU, has announced plans to challenge the executive order in court, arguing that it is illegal, just as Trump's similar attempt was deemed unlawful in 2018. There are limited exceptions to the new restrictions, including provisions for unaccompanied minors, victims of human trafficking, and those who use a Customs and Border Protection app to schedule asylum appointments. However, the order broadly suspends the long-standing guarantee that anyone on U.S. soil can seek asylum. This executive action mirrors the legislation that Republicans blocked in February, which included robust border security measures. The blockage was influenced by Trump, who urged Republicans to oppose the bill to prevent giving Biden a legislative victory in an election year. White House spokesman Andrew Bates criticized Trump for this, suggesting that Trump's political motivations were behind the legislative impasse. The decision has raised concerns among immigration advocates and progressive Democrats, who argue that Biden is abandoning his promise to rebuild the asylum system. Senator Alex Padilla of California expressed that by reviving Trump's asylum ban, Biden is undermining American values and the nation's obligations to provide refuge to those fleeing persecution and violence. Biden's executive order marks a stark departure from his earlier stance on asylum policy. During his 2019 presidential campaign, Biden criticized Trump's efforts to restrict asylum, accusing him of being the first president to require asylum seekers to apply in another country. Trump's attempts to close the border to asylum seekers succeeded only briefly in 2020 under a COVID-era emergency rule. Biden administration officials have defended the new order, emphasizing that it is a targeted response to surging crossings and not a blanket policy. They argue that immigration has been a significant political vulnerability for Biden, especially following a crisis in December when daily crossings peaked at around 10,000. In response, the U.S. has pressured Mexico to curb migration, leading to a reduction in crossing numbers, although they remain historically high. Despite the new order, migrants can still apply for other protections, such as those proving a risk of torture in their home countries, though this screening has a much higher bar than asylum. Those who cross illegally and do not qualify for other protections face a five-year ban on entering the United States. The executive order also carries political risks for Biden. Republicans have criticized the timing, questioning why he did not take such action sooner if he was concerned about border security. They have labeled the order as window dressing, suggesting it is insufficient to address the broader issues at the border.
In recent months, the Biden administration has proposed smaller steps to manage the backlog in the asylum system, such as rule changes to quickly identify ineligible asylum seekers and policies encouraging asylum officers to consider whether applicants could find refuge in their own countries before coming to the U.S. As the political and legal battles over this executive order unfold, the implications for both U.S. immigration policy and the broader political landscape will continue to be closely watched by the American public and policymakers alike.